culture has been inundated with this stupidity. I mean, you go back a hundred years to uh, our our the good Doctor Kellogg, which you may mm -hmm. have read about. Why I was just we, having this conversation tonight at dinner. Why do we circumcise boys? It's because Doctor Kellogg thought masturbation was wrong, and he wanted to stop boys from masturbating. And he really believed that if you cut off the foreskin, if you circumcise boys, then they won't masturbate as much. Now, where he got that stupid idea, I have no idea, but it was clearly a stupid idea. But it was based on religious belief, big time. And so we're still suffering today. I mean, I was circumcised, and I, I can't blame my parents for it because that was just the way they were trained. And I just wish that we wouldn't be doing that now to our kids and our grandkids, but it's still propagating. I think the discussion is really important. We need to start talking about it loud and clear. I just saw um, um, on Bullshit, what's, um, you know, the, the program Bullshit, uh, the, the magicians, help me out, guys. Uh, DJ Grossi? No, 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 no. Uh, Penn and Teller, Penn and Teller. Oh. Penn and Teller have a whole Bullshit thing on circumcision. And it's well done. Of course, he does a good production values and all. But people ought to be watching this shit and saying, wait a minute, if I have a kid or if I have a grandkid, I need to try and stop this this mutilation of boys. And that's, you know, I think that's really the, what we should be calling it. It's genital mutilation of boys. I don't want to I don't want to say it's as bad as female genital mutilation. It's not nearly as bad. That's horrendous what is done to girls and, and women in other cultures. But we're this is our culture. We don't generally mutilate women, but we're still mutilating boys, and there's no reason for it, none whatsoever. And if anybody says, well, it protects you against venereal diseases or sexual transmitted infection, that's bullshit. There's almost no evidence for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Africa there's some really bad studies on, on the fact that it may, uh, on the possibility that it may prevent HIV infection, but if it does, it's so minimal it's not even worth it. Why are they going around it? circumcising grown men now in test cases to see if that will prevent HIV. Why don't we just get a better vaccine? Why don't we just medicate? Why don't you educate? Well, why don't I mean, that's... How to use, teach them how to use condoms. Right. I mean, that's that's the problem. It's your, what you're saying. The religious society, they're against condoms. They're, they're against birth control. They're against all these things. And uh, just recently, um, I mean, I'm circumcised. And uh, until... I think until I really started to really look at the evidence and everything, I was for circumcised because people, you know, the stereotypes of circumcised penis is ugly. Um, I don't know. Every penis is probably really ugly. Uh, there's, do you ever, do you ever see the penis? But oh, that's actually a good looking penis. I don't know, ladies that are listening or. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, just a second. You, that is your cultural training about your penis. You don't know, tell me about my cultural training. <laughs> you go back and look at Egyptian iconography, and they practically worship the penis. The the Romans, if you look at at the uh, iconography and the graffiti, if you will, and the drawings on Pompeii, there's penises all over the place. They even had gigantic penises outside of shops, as like advertisements for whatever. Well, maybe they were just like trying to compensate for something else. Well, who you knows? Know, like guys nowadays buy sports cars. Back yeah, then, they, used, they just made really big statues of dicks. Yeah, but the <laughs> fact is there are other cultures at other times believe the penis is beautiful. And this whole idea that genitalia are ugly. I mean, I've met many women that say, oh, I'm very ugly down there. Well, that's, that's just crazy. You're not ugly down there. That's who you are. That's a human being. It's beautiful. A, a penis is beautiful. A vagina is beautiful. People as a friend, but also, I mean... People who are atheists, people who, you know, whenever my videos get shared, for example, on the American Atheist page or the Richard Dawkins page, like people who are very formal, like professional almost atheists, get mad.